hello guys welcome to today's video by trust okafo so on today's video i'm going to show you how to play crazy snake now crazy snake is a fleet play crypto game and i'm going to show you how to play this game from a to z this is totally free so to download this game just go online and search for crazy snake so <clears throat> um crazy snake actually makes use of a token called crazy this is it so um you'll be able to gain crazy by playing the game or staking nft or playing some other game in the nft or maybe selling your nft and there is actually different ways to um get nft i'm going to explain all of that um there are different games here you'll notice right here there is endless mode there is survival mode there is crazy and there is tournament that is all the forms of game that you can play and um if you want to play the crazy snake it is either endless or survivor mode but in, for the crazy shuffle is actually a puzzle in the game and then the one below is actually a tournament where you can stick or bet on different match that is actually going on so whichever one wins you win and then um where do i start before you start playing the game you need a you need an nft so either you send in money to this account and purchase an nft or you follow the traditional process now the traditional process is you get nft for free now to get nft for free you notice right there on the bottom right hand area where it says welfare center click on that now when you click on the welfare center you notice we currently have um chances we have left is actually 14 right now this is what the game does every day you come online um you have chances you have 14 chances for a draw now within those 14 chances all you need to do is to click on the draw and when you tap on this draw button it's going to spin and then whichever place it lands it gives you um what you want and currently i just won um joy egg joy egg pieces it's actually a fragment joy egg pieces times two and this joy egg pieces is actually used to um to craft an nft so um you click on add and then you notice the timer is reading down there so after the timer complete you need to click on that again and it's going to play an advert after playing an advert um it will rotate um the same um wheels and then wherever it lands you win again so let me click on this to do you want to make money it. download but at the same time i'm going to pause the video while it plays i actually forgot all right guys so the ads is complete all i need to do is to close um the reward grant by clicking on this s icon on the top right hand area and it's going to spin and wherever it lands that is what i get you notice i just got four fragment pieces of an egg so i'm going to click on add and it will be added and i will have to close it now i'm closing it so that i will explain different things because i can't keep clicking on it till um, 14 and do not forget guys you notice right now we have 12 chances this is going to count down until it count down to zero and then um quick information guys most times there is actually a bug in the game where it's going to get to one and it's going to stock on one and you keep clicking on the draw so um once it does that just know that it has already completed but it's just a bug just close it out and that's it so where you see um all of the fragments and everything you get from that place is on the backpack but um before we go to the backpack let me show you another place you'll be able to get your nft or your fragments of of cracks so click on this event section on this bottom right hand area and guys quick information this game is both on android on and also on iphone ios so um but people on ios will not be able to have the daily login option um the reason is because i i, I don't actually know the reason why but um for a fact i know that um i have not seen that particular option on my ios this particular option i've not seen it on my ios 
So um, when you have an Android, you open it, you come to this daily login section and you notice where it says day one, just click on it and you confirm. Once you click on the button, you confirm it. Uh, it just plays an advert as usual and it gives you the reward. You notice right there, which is day 14, uh, you have to click an advert, which is today. So when I click on it, the advert plays and after the advert play, it gives me this reward. What it's going to give me is um, this. Um, so if you are willing to travel, I'm going to actually allow this video ads to complete and then I'll show you. All right. So the ad is complete. All I need to do is to close it and then i get the reward this is the reward i got you can notice on the bottom that is exactly what we're supposed to get so click on ok and that has been confirmed and another play you another place you get reward daily is going to the tournament and then on the tournament there is a daily quest this particular option is on every device on every um, mobile device so click on the daily quest and you select the daily quest it's also going to watch another advert and it's going to reward you so i'm going to tap on this button to play the advert so you notice there is this um daily quest that is going to ask you it says participate um in one tournament guys i never participate in any tournament because if you want to participate in that tournament you need to pay some crazy but if you have some crazy just go ahead and participate in the tournament but i'm not going to participate anyway so i'm going to click on this button to claim that daily quest board i'm going to pause the video all right guys so the ads is complete i have to close and the reward is given and i have to click on ok and close it back and then back out now every time once your reward has been given to you where you will find or where you will locate this reward is actually to come to the backpack section now on this backpack section these are all my reward that is existing on my account now to um so let me explain all of this reward the first one is actually the um this is the first one the first one is the joy egg pieces now these joy egg pieces every time i claim the reward it gives me different fragments it gives me different fragments and each of these fragments i can use them to form um an easter egg or to form an egg and the egg i can use it to craft an nft so to form this egg currently i have um 87 and if you notice right there it says i need 20 pieces to make one easter egg and if i want to make an easter egg i can make a maximum of three eggs you notice right there it says limit of three eggs um three joy eggs per day so i can only make three joy eggs per day so um to craft this i just did three and i'm going to click on synthesize so when you click on synthesize it's going to um, show you this option and you have to confirm by clicking on confirm now after you have confirmed it's going to take a while to send your request to the blockchain and the blockchain is going to confirm your request to make sure it's valid and it's also going to send you the result after, after it's done this actually take a while and i'm going to allow this video to keep playing while it does this process and i don't think this is actually very difficult this is quite easy and I think anybody can do it so do not click on the close until it's finished and now it has completed and these are my three um, joy egg that i have successfully synthesized so click on finish and then close this out and you can see my egg right there and you can see my remaining joy pieces i currently have 27 joy pieces so i cannot make another joy pieces if you try to make another joy pieces it's going to say not enough synthesis time now the reason is because if you read this information i can only make limits of three joy eggs um in a day per day you can notice it so i'm going to close that since i've completed and i no longer have option to create more joy pieces and and the next one is this feed this feed is actually used to um, level up your nft the more level your nft um, have upgraded the more you will be able to do other things in the game for instance like um, breeding um, more nft or um, participating in the staking or playing the game the more level you have the more um any reward that you will get in the game so um we also have this egg also and this egg is like the same with the other egg but the difference is this particular egg is actually uh, an epic egg so it gives you more reward or it gives you more hashing power 
than the classic egg and this also is a egg fragment you can use to form the epic egg that i just showed you now so you also have you also need 20 of these to craft it just like i did craft it and this one is used this um reviver card is used during the game when you're playing the game the snake game and you died and you want to continue this is what you need to continue it's called reviver card and i currently have 28 of that and this hourglass is used to speed up the incubation time of your mating that when you start mating two nft together they are trying to make a baby nft so when they are mating together this is what you use to speed up the time of the meeting now after you have your eggs and you want to craft or you want to turn it to an nft i'm going to do this to three so that you just craft everything once now you notice it says a maximum of five joy eggs can be opened at once right now i want to open the three I want to open the three of the joy eggs immediately so once you click on the maximum and it's going to display to you this information just click on confirm and this information will be confirmed you can notice it's currently loading so um it's going to do the same thing again start a request and go to the blockchain to confirm it after it confirms the blockchain it's going to come right back to the result and tell you that it's successful and if there was a failure it's going to tell you also and most times there is always error when you are doing this whenever there is error i'm going to show you where to go to to fix this but let's wait for it to complete okay this is already successful and this is the nft that it rewarded us with this is actually cool so i'm going to click on finish and you notice the egg is no longer displaying and we do the same thing for this also but i do not want to waste extra time so on this our bag right here you can notice there are different things on this our backpack um you can click on the home page section to see um your total um info on your profile you see my profile name you see how many crazy i have you see how many diamond i have and how many usdt and matic and then finally um the pay for you now this pay for you is actually used in the game it's like a game currency for you know if you're doing um blockchain there is always a transaction fee and the transaction fee you can actually get this pay for you while playing the games so while playing the games you get rewarded play pay for you and this pay for you is actually the gas fee for crafting those nft upgrading the nft and doing different things in the game you need um to get this pay for you and the next place is um my nft this is going to display all of the nft i have currently in the game now you notice all my nfts i have um four nft currently on staking and i have four different nft that i have active so i can sell i can decide to sell some of this nft i can decide to upgrade them and keep using them to play the game or i can decide to um, upgrade them and in more or use it to craft so now this is the cosmetic section um i've actually never had a cosmetic for now because it's not yet available in the game and this is a city i also do not have that and this is a backpack which is where it shows you everything that you have received in the game let me back out again now on the next area this is where you will be able to buy your crazy but you'll be able to buy your crazy making use of diamond coin and this diamond coin is actually gotten play in the game so apart from that area this is your wallet section and your wallet section also displays every information and if for some reason you want to send in um you want to send in um, a usdt or a matic to your um to your crazy app all you need to do is to copy this wallet address on this top area just below the section where it has um polygon written copy the wallet and then you go to your um you go to whichever exchange you have or your wallet and then you send the um polygon to this area and once you have the polygon you can exchange the polygon to crazy so that you use it to purchase you can just click on this exchange and you see the exchange option you can exchange either your crazy to a different token or your token to a different um a different um, reward so let me go ahead and close that so um you can also come to um, token staking to stake your token um currently this is um the amount of token i have so i can stake it um either short period which is seven days 
I can click on stick now to stick, but I currently did not put in the figures. Let me put in the figures because I think I have I actually got this token by mistake because I actually cancelled an NFT and it gave me to, the token that the NFT have crafted. So this is the NFT that I have currently. So I'm going to click on stake now. I don't know if I'll be able to stake it because I've never actually staked any token yet. So it says 100 token required to stake. So I need up to 100 token of crazy to start staking. And you can see the PR is actually very high and really very rewarding. So I'm going to back out of that. And you notice this session is also for swap. You can always come here to click on swap and you can always see that price of my this is the price of my crazy and this is the price of the um, usdt so i can convert my crazy to a usdt and then before sending it to my wallet um, outside of the game and when you come to the market section you can see the price of yeah um, the prices of the crazy you can purchase crazy and you can purchase um crazy eggs making use of this particular amount you can come to the crazy box to purchase crazy box also if that is what you choose you can um, also purchase kill effects there are kill effects in the game these are effects that displays while playing the game and you can also come to this material section to buy the materials that you need i think the most important materials right here that you might want to buy is actually this one right here this um, pay for you because it's actually exhaust if you are not playing the game and getting the um, pay for you reward and then um finally on this left hand area the first option is actually the staking option now this is where it displays the information of your staking in the game now if you decide to add um, another nft into your staking all you need to do is to click on this plus icon and then you select the nft right here but i do not want to do that right now but if you want to sell it, just click, click, um, select the particular NFT and then you choose staking and it will start staking. And the maximum amount of staking that you can stake, I think, is five. Once you have up to five NFT right here, you have reached the maximum. And if you notice on the left hand area, that is my total hash. That is my stake and that is um, my hash power. Currently, my hash power right here is 11. And if the level of each of these NFT increases, their level um their hashing power is also going to increase you notice this hashing power is five right now you can see this other one's hashing power is one the reason why this is five and this is one is because of the level currently this nft is on level four and this one is on level one that's the reason why the hashing power is less so i'm going to close it to leave it going and then if you want to upgrade your nft you need to come to evolve and this lucky draw um to be sincere i have not used this lucky draw because i currently do not have the currency to make use of the draw so um i have not used it so um to upgrade your nft come to this evolve section click on this plus icon to select the nft that you want to evolve um choose the nft and you max it out that is depending on you i like to max it out anyway and then i'm going to click on speed up and it's going to do the same thing send my request confirm the request and then it shows the result so let's wait for that all right guys so um this is successful and it moved us to current um to level five i'm going to click on confirm to confirm this so this moved us to level five and our nst is currently on level five and you notice the hashing power is also increased now i can now add it successfully to staking the reason because the nft has been upgraded and it's going to give me more hashing power so i want to show you guys all right i'm going to click on confirm and it also takes um it's also going to take some gas fee to do this so let's wait for it to load up all right guys so it is successful and you can notice right now my hashing power is currently 19 and i have stake total of four so if for some reason i want to add more i can just click on plus button and add one more <coughs> which is going to take my hashing power to do it but i think i'm okay with this um i'm going to work my way out later on
so i'm going to click on back out and then let's go to the next section which is incubation now the incubation allows you to mate two different nft now you can only mate an nft once the nft have reached level eight and if you notice all of my nft none of them have actually got into level eight so that is actually going to be an issue so I can only start um, meeting my NFT once they get to level eight, which is actually the main um, the main thing I need to do. And before you meet or use your NFTs, you notice there is blue and white. The blue and white uh, and red is actually indicating that the two NFT are going to be a male and a female. Now let me explain that. Let me go back and show you guys different NFTs. So I'm going to go over to my backpack section, my NFT. And now you notice on this top right hand area, not the main menu, the top right hand area where it says all right now, this all means all my token. And now if you click on this blue one, it's going to show you the male NFT. These are all my male NFT. Now, if you click on the purple one or the pink one, it shows you your female NFT. So currently I have two female NFT and I have all of the other NFT. So if I want to mate, I need those two male and female to be able to stake successfully um to be able to incubate successfully and they can reproduce another nft and it's going to be on incubation so that is actually where you make use of your incubation timer that you are currently getting um, in the reward now if you want to buy an nft you go to the nft market this is actually the nft marketplace Currently, these are all the NFT in the marketplace. People are selling their NFT and you can go buy them easily in the game by just going to purchase and you buy your you buy with the crazy you have. But currently, I do not have any um I do not have any crazy, but um I do not have any crazy that I'm at a, that I'll be able to use to buy any um token so i'm not doing that right now and then guys if you decide to sell your nft all you need to do is to come over to this sell now and then you choose the nft you want to sell i think i can easily sell this one since i already have um i already have let me do this let me make this one crazy so it's going to show me the equivalent in usdt below and i'm just going to click on place so um if anybody wants to buy this they can buy this with one crazy because I only have level one on the game so i'm just going to click on place and it's going to start confirming my order once you finish it's going to be placed um it's going to ask to grant request oh, just let me start so after i grant the access it's going to load up and it will be shown in the marketplace for people to buy so um let's wait for that to complete all right so this is successful i'm going to click on i know and you notice the nft is no longer displaying here and it's going to be displaying right here okay this is it it has been added and what do we know guys the previous nft that was on one okay okay it's still here i thought that nft was so i thought this particular nft was sold so um guys that is it um that is all i want to show you on today's video and okay before i round this video up if you want to play the game um you notice this energy right there this is actually the energy you use in playing the game so um if this energy is currently on zero slash 120 that means you cannot um you don't have enough energy to play the game when you play the game it will reward you so make sure that your energy is on that particular section so to play the game just click on any mode let me select the survival mode i'm actually going to die quickly so that you guys will get it so on the survival mode all you do um, is to play the game and um you get different um power-ups in the game you can use those power-ups to kill other snake you can eat um all of this and all of that and you can fire that and i just killed one and i can leave this grenade and it could kill my enemy and you claim the reward after you kill them you just take up their um fragments and the more you take off their fragment the more you grow there are different power-ups in the game you get the power-ups you use it to kill other snakes and your you notice on the left hand area is actually increasing my points so my points increase the more i play the game the point increases and more points more reward and the the more reward we have the more time we get um 
you get more reward playing the game and after getting those reward playing the game you can actually get this reward in your nft so um if you hit another snake you die and you can continue playing by making use of the revive or you just keep just like i did right now because obviously i do not want to continue the video is going to be too long so guys um that is all i want to show you guys on today's video and there is also a shuffle puzzle that you can play and you can go to the shop area to see the reward you get by playing the game i can complete this reward or claim this reward after i have gotten seven wins so um seven wins in a week so after a week that resets and if it resets you'll be able to start all over in another week and the fun part in the game is that it's actually not easy and when you fail, you can continue um, by watching ads or you reshuffle. You notice know, there is option for reshuffle or you can return. A, this, there are different options in playing the game. So, guys, this is all I want to show you. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, don't forget to smash like and see you on my next video. Peace.